in today's lesson, we're going to be building on what we've already done. So we can see that um, we have the same few columns as the past few days. We have function, and x-intercept, and y-intercept, and we have a graph column. But we've just added two things. So today, we're going to learn how to also find the axis of symmetry and find the vertex of a parabola. And that's going to help us make our graph more accurate, right? So we've been sketching graphs, and we're just going to make our sketch a little bit more accurate today by adding a couple more things. So, um, this starts off familiar though. Okay, let's start with the x-intercepts. We plug in 0 for y and solve for x. So I'm going to write this as y equals x squared plus 5x minus 14. And I'm going to go ahead and make that equal to 0. Okay, so um, the next step here is to factor this out. Right? This is equal to 0. And because there's a this is a 1x squared, what I need is two numbers that multiply to negative 14 and add to 5. Okay, two numbers that multiply to negative 14 and add to 5. Okay. So those two numbers, two numbers that multiply to 14 are 7 and 2. And then in order to have to add to positive 5, this is going to be plus 7 and minus 2. So then I know that if this number times this number equals 0, then either x plus 7 equals 0, or x minus 2 equals 0. So let's solve. I get x equals negative 7, or x equals positive 2. And remember, in both cases, I've plugged in 0 for y. So this is negative 7, 0. Negative, x is negative 7 when y is 0, or x is 2 when y is 0. Okay, and I'm just, I'm just going to fill in these blanks along the bottom, and that's going to help me with my graph at the end. Now, for the y-intercept, I'm plugging in 0 for x. So I'm going to take my function, and wherever I see an x, I'm going to plug in a 0 instead. Zero squared is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. This is a 0 plus 0 minus 14. So the y-intercept is I plugged in 0 for x, and I ended up with negative 14 for y. Okay, now this is new. The axis of symmetry. So a parabola looks like, uh, like a u, right? Like this. The axis of symmetry is that line down the middle that divides it in half. And it's the same on both sides. Parabolas are what's called symmetrical, meaning they can be sort of folded over this line and they're the same on both sides. Okay, So there's a, a trick to finding that axis of symmetry, and that is that the axis of symmetry, notice it's a vertical line, so it's a line that has an equation x equals something, right? And what we can do is we can use the equation and the standard form of a quadratic equation, it's ax squared, right? So there's a number times the x squared term, which in this case is 1, plus bx. So in this case, b is positive 5, plus c. So in this case, um, c is negative 14. Okay? And so there's a shortcut to finding the axis of symmetry, which is this formula that we'll just memorize, negative b over 2a. Okay? So in this case b is 5, so negative b is negative 5. Okay, now, if b is a negative number, like let's say b was negative 3, then negative b would be positive 3, right? This is the opposite of b. It just changes the sign of whatever the b is. So in this case, b is 5. And the a value in this function is 1, right? There's a 1 here in front of this x squared. And so that's... 2 times 1. Okay, so this becomes negative 5. 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, now for the sake of being able to graph this easily and also for the sake of we're going to plug it in in a second, we're going to make this into a decimal. Okay, or you can make it into a mixed number. So negative 5 divided by 2 is negative, you could write 2.5 or 2.5. Most of you are more comfortable with decimals, but 2.5 is also. So that is the line that the parabola flips over. So where x is 
negative 2.5, so like right here, right? If this is um, 2.5, then we would just draw a, a line right there. That would be our axis of symmetry. Okay, now, what you'll notice is that axis of symmetry divides the parabola in half, and this point on the parabola is called the vertex. Okay, that is the sort of the turning point of the parabola, and it lies on the axis of symmetry. Okay, so what's cool about that is that we know what the x value of this point is. It's negative 2.5. Okay, so we're going to plug that in, and I've purposely picked uh, an example where I have a negative decimal. It's like really annoying to plug in, but we're just going to use a calculator and it's not a big deal. A lot of times this is a whole number, positive, makes it a little easier. But watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my function and just for the sake of making this easy to understand, I'm going to just recopy it. Now I'm going to plug in my x value, right? I'm plugging in the x value from the line of symmetry and then find y. So I'm going to plug in this x value for x. And now I'm going to do the math. It's a little annoying, right? But just use a calculator. Negative 2.5 squared. So negative 5 is negative is positive. So it's going to be positive. And 2.5 squared is 6.25. Okay. Now, positive times negative is negative. And 5 times 2.5 is 7.5. And then minus 14. Okay. And now we're going to just... And put all this in a calculator at once. So this is 6.25 minus 7.5 minus 14, negative 15.25. Okay, so my vertex, the place where this parabola is going to turn, is at an x value of negative 2.5 and a y value of negative 15.25. Okay, so now I have a lot of information and I'm ready to graph. Okay, now pay attention to how I want this graphed. I, because it's, it would be hard to actually label each point just because the graph is small, we're going to just label it with numbers. So let's start with the x-intercepts. Okay, so I'm starting with these two. So x-intercept number 1, negative 7, and 0, and 2, 0. So again, we're just sort of eyeballing it, right? But try to be as accurate as possible. So we're going to call that negative 7, 0 and 2, 0, okay, and you're going to label the x-intercepts 1 and 2, doesn't matter which one is which really, but I just want you to understand, you know, where each thing is on the graph. Now the y-intercept is 0, negative 14, so it's going to be here, we'll label that with a 3, okay, right, and that the, the label numbers are up here and then also um, they're along this line here. Okay. Now, the axis of symmetry, we're going to sketch that. Okay, It's at x is negative 2.5. And what you'll notice is it's, it's halfway between these two points, right? Because these two points are both on the parabola, and it's going to be halfway, right? So 2.5 is going to be like right about here. Okay, And you're going to just draw a dotted line. Right? And then you're going to draw the vertex. So the vertex, right, I'm going to label it number 4, is here. So think about it. It's negative 2.5, so it's on this line. And it's at negative 15.25. So this was negative 14, so negative 15 is a little bit lower. Maybe right about here. We're going to label that 4. Okay. And then the last thing we can do to make our graph as neat as possible is we can estimate the reflection of this point. Remember, so remember that the parabola is... Uh, is symmetrical, so it's going to be the same on both sides. So we can see, right, like these points are the same on both sides of the line. But what we can do is we can take this point, the y-intercept, and we can just kind of eyeball where it will be before we draw our graph to make it a little neater. So like I see like, all right, it's like this far. I'm going to make it about right there will be on my line. So we'll call that 0.5. And then I'm going to go ahead and sketch... my graph. And you can see, because I've added more information, my graph is a little bit neater than it was yesterday. 